Well, it snowed. It snowed since the last time I was here, that's for sure. Oh, working up a sweat. How are you guys doing? Well, thanks for joining me on episode two of A Fort in the Woods. You know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna revamp this whole thing. This is garbage, this is nonsense. I'll show you on the back. We're gonna spend the night here as well too. It's about noon, we're gonna bushcraft all day. We're gonna build all day, and then we're gonna spend the night here. I'm excited. I, I, I've been away for two days from this, this uh, fort, and I've just been itching to get back. It's a good feeling. Check this out. There's a bunch of deer prints all around, right? Here, this is the tarp. The deer prints right on the tarp. He walked right on my old tarp. Silly deer. But look at this, look how caved, it in. caved in it is. How much snow it got onto it. And I knew that was gonna happen. And the whole time at home, I'm thinking, I don't even want a tarp up there. This is not what I wanna be doing. This is not the way I wanna make my fort. We're gonna make it the right way today. We're gonna start on the right way today. <sighs> Darn. Good thing this is a tough tarp. There we go. Like ice and snow. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, my ears are getting numb. Oh, that's much better. Oh, moosey hat. <laughs> well, this is awesome. Before we get into today's video, I wanna give a huge shout out to my sponsor for this video. I teamed up with Trade Coffee. We wanna give you guys a discount on some good coffees. I love drinking a hot mug of coffee when I'm outside in the cold woods. My only problem is that coffee is normally a little bit too strong for me. So my little boy taste, my young Joseph taste. Oh, she's steaming. She's still steaming. So I was very thrilled to find out that Trade Coffee caters to your taste. Oh, look at that steaming cup of coffee. So I can get whatever I want with my taste profile. You kind of fill out a little bit of a quiz and they figure out what kind of coffee suits you best. Cheers. Oh, it's like a bit sweet, a little bit acidic. It's got a very nice aftertaste. It's calm, it's a calm coffee, definitely. It's not very strong, but that's what I wanted. But I like to use the French press on my coffee, mainly because that's the only real way I know how to make it <laughs> without getting little grinds in there. My favorite thing about trade coffee is probably the personalization. They match you up to your taste and type. Mine is very flavorful while being calm as well. The price as well, it's the best deal for this quality coffee that you can get anywhere. And the fact that it's roasted to order, meaning it's the freshest coffee that you've ever tasted. So this is where you guys get hooked up. Trade Coffee wants to give the first 100 people to click the link in the description below, 50% off their first coffee order. Enter the word bushcraft, that's my code. So once again, click the link in the description below, enter my code bushcraft, and the first 100 people to do that will get 50% off their first order. Give a huge shout out again to Trade Coffee. Very much appreciated. Mm. Okay, so 
What I'm going to do is start digging this down. I need to d dig back very far. I don't want that cheapo, garbagey looking tarp shelter anymore. It's not the way I want this to be. I want wood. I want I want steady. I want structure. I want when it becomes snow and rain and ice fall that it doesn't matter. It's not going to sag and bow. I want I want something very comfortable. So I'm going to get rid of this bench, throw it to the front for now. I was going to start a fire, but there's no point right now. I'm just going to bust my butt, work, warm up that way. Here we go. I can tell that I'm going to get warmed up pretty soon, pretty quickly rather. Huh? 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 What I tell you, living the high life, the peasant life out here, boys and girls. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all this because I got to dig way back, way back. I got to get out couple things from my uh, my duffel bag here. All I did was wrap. Oh, I got a lantern. I got a lantern, guys. Wrap it up in an extra tarp. Keep it nice and dry. And I can use these tarps for tonight because I don't imagine I'll have my complete shelter. Well, I won't have the complete shelter built by tonight, that's for sure. That's okay. I knew that coming in. Looking for my axe. These duffel bags are pretty handy, man. I know I keep raving about them for the winter time. They're uh, pretty awesome. Okay. Because you can just find things so easily in them, you know? You don't have to spend time looking or searching or trying to dig out. It's just so quick. Just so quick. There we go. Snow anchors work really well. Have I mentioned that before? Just kind of wrapped it on this one because it had a bunch of gnarly pieces hanging off of it. Worked well. So you can probably tell, even by watching it and sound, uh, hearing the way it sounds, is that it's acting completely different than the other day. The other day it was warm and it was soft, right? Very granular, like I was saying. Now it's like igloo building stuff, like chunks, you know? Pretty solid too. So it's a good and a bad. It's it doesn't make such a mess and go everywhere when I try to scoop it, but it's harder to chip through. Not much. It's not a big deal. Just different. As things normally are when you're outside. Confucius say. I gotta dig right back.
That's a solid piece. <coughs> wow. Making some progress anyway. I have a good idea of what I want to do. I'm just going to continue digging this out for a little bit. I'll tell you guys all about it. I'm almost done. What I really want to do is hang a ridge pole up here and make like a half A-frame shelter. By that I mean have a full lean-to on one side and then come around and almost make a full A-frame on the other side but stop halfway and make that into a, a doorway with a little awning and I'll be able to have a, a, a spot for a fire pit outside of it all a bed inside, enough room to work a little bit that's my idea of a fort I can definitely put it in this space I think I might switch it up though, I think I might use the snow to my advantage at first and build it up because I can't build the whole thing today so I'll use the snow to my advantage probably until the springtime and then I'll rebuild but yeah if I prop the logs if I make the logs long enough and prop them up I can do more of a slanted roof right now and then when it comes time for rain the snow will be gone I can pitch them higher even, even put tarps on the outside I'm fine with that yeah, I'll just cut them long and then I can use them both times. I like the idea of that. Hopefully you can picture it. Alright, I am pretty hungry. It's time for lunch. So, been eating healthy still. Look at this. This is like a carrot and like flax seed wrap. Okay, it's orange. It was really not that bad. No, I've grown accustomed to it. It's not bad at all. So in there, I... I got that, and then here I have my chicken. And this chicken is just fried up with a little bit of uh, like olive oil and salt on it. Not too much either. And then I got my French's mustard. A subscriber sent me a whole box of these a while back. So thank you once again. Cannot get enough of the mutar. Get out. Don't go on my fingers. Mustard man, a mustard man. Two packs. Two packs. Old two pack. Uh, there we go. A little pink Himalayan salt would go on there pretty nicely, but that's all right. I got my apple crisps for after. Look at this. It doesn't even break, eh? It's pretty, pretty flexible, which is amazing, especially in this this weather. Oh, that sounds like dog tags be ice on the uh, trees anyways it's uh I don't know negative 15 or so at least it was when I left my house Celsius all right haha <laughs> cheers mmm It's not dry. It's not dry at all. Ah. Okay. So, temps are supposed to get to negative 18, negative 20 tonight. I got decent, decent sleeping gear. I, I brought the same sleeping bags I brought for that emergency shelter with Boosh. I got a 
negative 20 and a negative 2 together that combine that is very very warm. Hear it? It is ice on the trees making a clinking noise. Hear it? Well, that's pretty cool. It's like natural chimes. The wind keeps picking up, and when it does, it gets cold, man. Especially because I'm not doing anything right now. Should do something. trees coming through oh it's cold all right so I got a really hard dense piece of dead wood here I believe it's white oak the thing is solid it took a, some effort cutting through it I'm hoping it's long enough for my ridge pole my thinking is there's gonna be a lot of weight on this ridge pole over the course of time by the time the shelters uh, worked on and stuff I don't want it bowing out I definitely don't want a live um, ridge pole because it will bow out and eventually break and I can't really find that dense of a dead balsam fir or whatever it's 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 pretty marginal the wood that being said balsam fir is pretty light too so there's not much structure to it not much strength this will have a lot of strength to it I don't know if it's exactly long enough to fit on the ridge up for the ridge pole and that's what we have to find out now Oh, she's long enough. Definitely long enough. Perfect. Okay, and that's actually not a bad height for at least right now. Yeah, if I keep that up there and lean logs, long logs from the top of the snow up past it, I have a good amount of room back here locked in high enough, and I'll have a good, uh, awning over myself if not that much of an awning no big deal I could put a tarp if I want but I think this is gonna work out pretty cool right now because like as it is that's almost as high as I am or as tall as I am and I can tie it a bit tire I can tall <laughs> I can tie it a, a touch taller see that ten times fast and uh, yeah I'll have plenty of room I can even tie it on the outside. So this is the thing. Normally when you're tying a ridge pole, I want to tie it on the inside of the tree, meaning where all the weight is coming down, pushing down, and then it's going to be braced against the tree. Whereas if this ridge pole is on the other side of the tree, right, everything's leaning on it, and the only thing stopping it is the, the paracord that's holding it up. But there are, way, there are ways to negate this, and especially with the shelter setup that I plan on doing, lean back on the front and then straight almost straight up and down sorry on the back and then almost straight up and down in the front for half of it so really if i put this on the outside i'm gaining a ton of room back here right almost a, probably about a foot of room back uh towards where i'm going to sleep and, and hang out at and then i can prop up logs like this prop log underneath this log on the outside as my wall boom 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 as half my half wall and then that'll do two things it'll it'll lock those stand up and down uh pieces in place and it will support this and i can also put supports all along the the outsides of it so i think that's what i'll do yep does that make sense i hope it makes sense it should make sense it makes sense to me I 
can almost really just wedge it in this cedar here. That would be pretty cool if I could do that. I can, at least on the one side. That makes life easy. I'll still secure it, but it makes it easy to tie up. Maybe we'll use black. Get this bird's nest undone. There we go. It's the best way. Have I told you this? It's the best way to store your, your, your paracord. Neatly. Very neatly. Considering the tree that I have to go around is pretty big, I, I need a decent sized piece of paracord. So let's just measure and make sure. We've got plenty of room to go around that and the ridge pole actually. Let's, let's see, that ridge pole is pretty thick too. Yeah. Pretty pleased with that. So I'm gonna tie Canadian jam. It's, it's the way to do it for this type of stuff in my opinion. Have a knot at the end, tie a knot close to that loosely, and then you'll run your tail through that loose knot and it tightens everything up to it. Actually, this is really acting weird. It might have been almost burned at one point, so it's really plasticky. I'll do it on this end. I just want to be able to manipulate it. It's not, uh, it's pretty stiff. All right. Just cut the uh the knot off the other side so it goes in easier. Okay, I need to tie uh, some lashings on here as well. I'm just, this one piece of paracord isn't gonna cut it. For this, uh, this weight. Yep, we will uh, we'll prop it up. We'll get it going. My hands, hands too cold. Ah, but anyway, she's up there. It's pretty even, pretty even across. So I got that much give, or that much uh, extra at the end here which is helpful. I'll leave that on there. And then on this side, it's got more than enough, right? Like it only really needs to go to this tree here. It's all the way touching three trees and propped up. I don't really have to worry about that. I will secure it, like I said, same way. But this side, I will wrap up a little bit better just to be secure. It's on there, but I don't, I don't think I could give it the weight test yet. All right, I'm gonna do some wraps and fraps with this longer piece. Just start it off by tying it right to this other piece of paracord that's already on, and then wrenching it. Oh, you should probably see the, yeah, see it tighten up.
time for the oil weight test if it can hold my weight it can hold anything <laughs> and I haven't even tied it up on that side at all all right I'm pleased with that very happy with that now I have all of this as room covered protected room fire pit here it's all coming together <laughs> she sunk. Whoa, so did I. All right, let's see if I can pull it straight up and out of here. Oh man, it's a lot more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> Timber. I want to make sure that I'm cutting these the right size so I'm going to try to measure with one of the old pieces from the bed see if that's long enough and then I can use it like a ruler on the uh, on the tree I just took down. Woo! Looks like this is the longest one. Like I said I do want a, a bit of an overhang. Ah something fell in my eye. I do want a bit of an overhang that's a pretty good overhang as it is and it's back here far enough maybe a touch longer than this I just want to make sure because this isn't a full straight line back that it fits every single place and it does so this is light enough I can carry this until I get a feel for how long normally I'll cut a couple of sizes and then be able to or a couple pieces that length to be able to eyeball it pretty closely so yeah let's go measure it up Ideally, I'll get three pieces out of this tree I took. Okay. So I did say I, I, it could be a four to be a touch longer. I'll cut it maybe six inches longer. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, about five, four or five inches longer. Because that actually, that one or two inches makes a huge difference. <laughs> All right.
All right, so this is gonna be a theme, it seems like I, uh, I got this one cut off, and same thing, buries itself in the snow. I even took a shovel, dug it out a few times. It's gone probably two feet lengthwise. I keep getting a little bit of room to go, but it sinks again and it's hard. So instead of fighting with it, messing my back up anymore, I can probably just measure it and cut it. Stick that measuring stick right down next to the end of it. Cut it there. It's not ideal, but I can't keep fighting with every single piece like this. It's gonna take forever. Strings, man. There we go. Oh. Come on. Before I go any further, I gotta get rid of these. They're just interfering, getting caught on every single thing. Man, that ice. Oh, excuse me. Okay, these are my new marmot gloves, the ones I showed in my last video. Got from Moose Jaw there. Leather on the palms, it's like a nylon on the back. They say Gore-Tex, maybe it's Gore-Tex, I don't know, they say Gore-Tex, but they got this uh, tightener. I don't know what part of this would be Gore-Tex, maybe this nylon part, because this shirt does seem to be leather. We'll find out later on tonight when I touch my hot cooking pot with it. We'll see the effects. They're kind of cool, they're warm. Oh, I gotta get a drink of water. Can't be too careful. Okay. So I cut this big fat one shorter so that it can go in the front as a prop log. I want to do that before anything else. I got a bunch of logs already cut. Okay, perfect. I cut it a little bit on the long side because I can smash it down into the snow or dig down into the snow and prop it up like that. I do have to go run over and grab my saw and my axe because I gotta cut this off, this piece.
I would leave it on as part of like the to snug it in, but it will impede my rafters, my uh, my roof. So this is a nice sturdy piece. I'll put it probably about halfway, a little less than halfway through so that I, I know where to stop uh, adding my front wall. This is probably, in all honesty, a good spot. Oh, that's cold. Okay, I'll mark my spot. I'm gonna try and dig down a bit. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Actually, I don't even, I shouldn't go too deep because I don't want it to be loose. Okay, yeah, she's actually in there pretty solid. I will, uh, once there's weight coming down on top of it, and I can actually even lash it too to keep it sturdy, but like, that's pretty solid, man. I pulled, it was a little loose. I pulled this back down and it locked in pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with the way that even looks. Okay, cool, man. Very cool, getting somewhere. The white tarp days are over. Ah, so very cold. Starting to ice up in the threads. I'm getting hungry. Got these uh, gluten free, very low sugar kind bars. Uh, I've been eating with good success. A little bit of chocolate on there too, actually. Getting somewhere. Getting somewhere, folks. Oh, yeah, buddy. That looks sweet. There we go. Damn, that's solid, man. I can climb on it. Hey, look at me. Look at me. This is fun, man. This is just embodying the whole fort idea. Just happy, enjoying myself like a kid building a fort in the woods. Looks pretty sweet. 
if I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, the bane of my existence, the thing I've spent so much time worrying about, I gotta cut that again. Joe Robinette versus the snow log. Okay. This blade is no good. Actually, this wood is dry somehow. No, it's not. No, it's not. This blade is no good anymore. I've used it all up. Luckily, from the other day, I knew that was going to happen. I anticipated it. I brought another uh, blade. So let's switch it out. I'll just show you quickly how I do that. Since this is my base camp, I brought a few extra things that I normally wouldn't really bring on an overnight or whatever. Just some things to make it more like home, more comfortable. But my lantern. I brought some down booties for tonight. Well, just a few things. But anyways, oh, one of the, that's my point. One of those things was a multi-tool. It was a multi-tool. One of those things was a multi-tool. This is just a cheapy. Anyways, it'll help me put the, the new blade on. So, the way that this attaches are these little clips. And you can definitely pop them off with your fingers or your uh, bill knife, but it's easier and protects the edge better if you just use something else. A little screwdriver. Don't want to lose it though. Okay. Don't want to lose it. It's in the sled somewhere. And this little bolt comes out. Put it in the sled as well. And then we gotta do the same to this side. There we go. Okay, that's the old one. You can see, see there's two holes on this side and one hole on this side. I cut it in order to make it tighter. Um, so it can go on both holes. If you don't cut the one, the Ego saw is not big enough to have that extra hole out here and be in here, uh, the pin be in that side. I hope you understand what I mean. Um, anyways, so I normally cut off the one side and make it tighter, but let's see if it's tight enough without doing that first off. Well, that sucks. I did the whole thing without the camera running. It was too loose. I had to cut it. Uh, so to put on the, um, the second hole, it wouldn't fit without cutting it. And it, I don't know if it's tight enough right now. The way that that snaps down doesn't seem like it. If not, I'll have to cut this one too and put on the second hole. We'll go see. Let's go test it out anyway. Womp womp. Sorry about that. This is that nice, hard uh, spruce from the other day. No. No, it's no good. I can see the, the, the blade flexing too much. It's okay, it'll give me a chance to show you what I actually meant. So, okay, here we go again. Hands are too cold. Hands too cold. I can just pop off the one side now, make it much easier. Okay, that's beneath my uh, knees there. So, two holes, right? If I put it on the second hole without cutting it, it's not gonna fit to bend, to, to, to collapse, to close up for packing. So, take the snips, right on the first, middle of the first hole. Good clip. Same thing, and then just bend it a couple times. There, okay? Piece of metal. Go in my backpack. I don't want to leave that laying around. All right. Let's see now. All oh, this metal on my hands feels heavenly.
Oh, it's tight now. Bam, son. Let's check that out now. The difference has got to be pretty uh, substantial, I'm sure. on that so we're gonna call that good get some more wood and then gotta start cutting firewood maybe set up a tarp for tonight on the on the back of that thing just for a little protection I seldom do it anymore but uh, bringing a, a good multi-tool is not a bad idea on a camping trip okay Try to make these as flush as possible. That way they sit flush with the next one. Not too much air gap. It can be kind of a thermal wall if I have the fire close enough. Plus, it looks cool. <laughs> That's what it's all about, right? Okay, well, it's getting somewhere. I'm gonna make my bed again. I'm gonna set my bed back up, I think, now, before it gets too enclosed here. Quarter after four now. Got a couple more hours of light. I keep having to take layers on and off. That's the beauty of layers, right? That's the whole point. Oh, lots of work, man. I need to melt some snow. I'm almost out of my water. This was one of my pieces to my bed, but it broke. I'm glad it broke now, not during the night. So I gotta get a couple more uh, because that one broke. Um, actually, I'm just gonna tuck them right against the snow at the back. It's got a little lopsided right now, but once I get more weight towards the front, it'll even out. And if I do need to tie it, I will. But it's, with me on there, it's gonna be sturdy. Anyways, no, no big deal, I can tie it. Um, so I'll get maybe two more, three more, if they're smaller. And that should, uh, 
that should be pretty solid. And I have, as far as headroom, like a ton of room. This is gonna be good. Going to be good. Okay. Ah. That's gotta be the uh, the main mission right now is to get snowshoes keep knocking everything everywhere. Is to get logs for this right now. Here's a secret mission in uncharted space. Let's go. Five. Five saws long. Oh, oh, oh. Getting there. So, my bed all made, but it's going to be far enough away from the fire where I'm not going to really feel too much heat off of it. I can remedy this later on by building a, a bed all the way out to this pole if I wanted to. You know what I mean? That wide. And then that way two people could fit on it as well. I could sit at the very edge of the ridge pole, still be covered, and, and feel the warmth from the fire. But that will involve building the bed longer width ways. And I don't want to do that right now uh, for the, the bottom pieces. So what I'm going to do is tie up a chair. I got Malcolm's the Hidden Woodsman's bush chair here. So that'll be good. I'll set it right here and be next to the fire for tonight. To start off, all I'm doing, I have a fixed loop. I'm going to just run my cord through that, get it caught on a bunch of sticks, make it look impossible, and there we go. So now it's on there, right? Now I'm just going to do some wraps and fraps. This is the easiest and also very um, useful way to do it. Holds on very tightly. So I'm going to come up in between, just like when I was tying the ridge pole on. And tighten them on on top of each other like uh, the the cordage gets tight tied onto itself and tightened up my tongue gets tied tied right up put some tension on it put some respect on my name and do a couple more and that should be good enough to hold it. My whole 100 pounds of Joe. It sounds like a band, a 90s band, 100 pounds of Joe. I've got to adjust it, but that's the gist of it. The back has got to go back farther.
looks like that's the winner winner chicken dinner why would I say that that's such a weird thing to say that's where my chair will sit adjust it again. Oh my goodness. It doesn't even need this third pole. I can just really rest it in there. But the problem is this stump that I left there is digging into my back. And it's a little, a little uh, too slanted back for me. With that, just ram it in the tree. Right in the tree. Yeah, it'll be fine, but this this stump is in my back. Yeah, I'll just cut it down, I guess. This is a really nice spot for this, actually. Put the fire there. Five thirty. I got some firewood, not a, not a ton. I'm, I'm pretty cold actually, too. All right, tweak this a little bit more. That's my first stage. So do you remember, as we were walking in, I grabbed some birch bark. It's been in my pocket, drying out, crumpling up a bit. We're gonna spark that with a fire steel. Got my big old fire steel from HF Survival School. She's a beast. She's a dog. Cross applesauce. We're good to go. Sun's gone down. Just got residual light now. So I'm gonna get my gear out of my bag. Set it all up. It's looking a lot more homely than last time, eh? actually nice and warm ah. there's a whole lot of crust actually the crust the icy part we better to melt get more water per crusty icy part than snow Stick with me, boys and girls. Alright.
Oh, precarious. Well, that was a pretty good test for the gloves. I do believe that they're leather. Marked them up, but I didn't like burn through them or anything like that. So we're going to go with leather. Leather. All right, I got my water boiled. I'm going to pour it into my, my water bottle. Hot water. All right, we'll do that again. Got my firewood stacked up in somewhat of a neat pile. I left some big ones accessible. Makes me feel a little bit better about that. Stacking them like that. I had to get a couple more pieces onto that fire. I haven't put episode one out yet. I plan on putting that out in two days. It's Wednesday today, Friday will be the day. And then hopefully have this one up next Friday as well. Maybe next Wednesday. We'll see, I have a couple videos in the queue right now. More of the old BDUs today. Ah, haven't worn these in a long time. Vintage Joe. I'm a fan of using a bivy in the winter. Your head on the kerosene lantern, Joe. And now, even the bottom of my sleeping pad is somewhat protected from any would be pokies left over on the uh, on the bed. She's a little rolly, that's for sure. Woo! It's kind of fun. Oh man, that's nice. That's nice and flat. Nice. That fire's thrown off some good heat now. I still gotta cut that stump behind me. I'm gonna set up my uh, fire reflector. I mean, sorry, my reflector oven. And, oh, she's so cold. And uh, start cooking that steak up. Oh, it's a little fishy. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> so it's a Svante Frieden. It's from Sweden. And I can never seem to put it together properly. But, stick my little grill in there, we'll call it good. Find a hot spot near the fire. There, I might even move it after, we'll see. Usually takes a lot of tweaking, at least at least for me when I do it. Yeah, that's not bad. Throw some more wood on there, get it rocking. Now other than that little tiny Half of one of these size steaks that I split with Boosh maybe, I don't know, a week ago or whatever when we did our trip, maybe two weeks ago. Um, I hadn't had one. I hadn't had steak in over two months. 
way, way over two months. So I am still eating proper. This little bit of steak should be alright for me. Again, it is organic, grass-fed type thing. Got it at a local abattoir. Abattoir. I'm staying relatively warm all day actually. It's just, like I said earlier, layers on and off. But that's what you do in the winter time. Actually, just rig up a little pot hanger. I want to. I want to make a nice one. I want to make nice, you know, implements and comfortable stuff for here because I'll be keep coming back. Just tonight's not the night for that. Making a nice one. I got my quinoa. Been eating this a lot lately. It's pretty bland, but uh, yeah, it's good for you. That's the right way to do it, to be honest with you. I haven't cooked this once. My lovely, super helpful wife has done it for me. But we shall see. I'll put in double the amount of quinoa, or sorry, double the amount of water that I have quinoa in there. I don't know, maybe I should have had boiling water at the time, but that water's super hot anyways. I just poured it into my Nalgene and poured it back in there just now. All right, I'm gonna put this back on. Oh, I gotta fix this fire, man. Oh, that's a good setup. Clear of the stump, the old butt stump. Oh, oh man, that feels good. I had to refill the water again, so I think it's best to. Actually, hang it. Instead of having to sit so close. Uh, it might be a bit high, but we'll see. I'm gonna check out this steak. Ah, smoky eyes. Both of these are done. Look at that. That looks quite good. I'm gonna stoke up the fire, get my plate, and sit down. Oh, ho, 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 buddy. Oh, ho, 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 living the life. I strung up my little Scottish wool blanket uh, on top of the bush chair to just give a little bit more insulation. And then I've got my sit pad underneath my little bum bum. 
keeps him warm. Keeps him warm. Oh, look at the quinoa, boy. <laughs> so much quinoa. That little tiny bag fluffed up to this. It doesn't have, like, the bad carbs and starches. I'm just talking up my butt. I really don't know. This is supposed to be better for me, so I eat it. Look at that. Looking pretty good. Looking like a snack. Mmm. Quinoa. It's a little bland. It literally tastes like nothing. Oh man, that's nice. It has a smoke ring on it. Ooh, no salt, no salt. I should have brought salt. I brought down booties. So I didn't bring salt. Where are my priorities at? Hmm. Tastes very good with no salt, no salt, no nothing. Mmm. Flavor is through the roof. This is the third time I filled my Nalgene. Actually, pretty recently, too. So, I'm getting a lot of water into me. I'm sure I'll have to get up and pee a million times, but that's all right. I'm going to throw the big pieces of wood I have on here. Hopefully, they'll grow into a big fire while I'm. Oh, my gloves are freezing up on me while I'm collecting more wood. So very smoky, super, super smoky. That's all the wood there. Now I'll leave that <coughs> to warm up. By the time I get back from cutting wood, hopefully if it hasn't burst into flames by then, I'll be able to blow it into flames with my little uh, sit pad. And actually, while that's going, oh. That's already water. Never mind. This log I put here, I know I said this before, but this has been a key factor in this staying upright. I'm not walking and trying to come up and down all the other places all the time. It's right here. And I don't even think I will build a little step in for that reason because it's very protected the way it is. But anyways, I did get a good amount of wood. Fire struggling for some reason. Anyways, I got enough wood to last me now for sure. Time to take a load off and rest my back. Oh man, it's very nice to sit here. Very nice. No, no stars, which is surprising because it's pretty chilly. Well, I think I'm going to get my, uh, actually, I have, I have it all right here.
Chaga. That'll be my late night or my last uh, drink of the night. Love the winter for just ease of things like that. It's about perfect. Raise it up a little bit higher. Bam, son. That's all she needs. Happy with the size of this thing too. Lots of improvements to come. Lots of uh, yeah changes and just continuous building on this thing. I'm kind of excited to be able to change it in the spring again. I don't know if you guys can notice or can see it now in your head. I'm gonna, I haven't decided yet. I can, I can either leave this open for the doorway or come a little bit farther here and leave this open. I might leave this open for the doorway, but on this side of the, the big log, I'll put almost straight up and down pieces. But the thing is, as long as they're underneath this uh, overhang, then it's good. I can make them longer and I can tie them all in, boom, 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 almost straight up and down. And that way there's like a, you know what I mean, like a lean-to going backwards and on the front it's straight down, just giving us a full wall. I'll close in both sides and then you'll have just this opening here to come in, lay down, sit there. And like I said, we can move the fire over, over sideways this way, it's not an issue. And then build the bed out as far as... Uh, these poles and, and the tree goes, you can get warmth from it that way, bring it a bit closer, or have chairs like this one. I plan on leaving that chair out here. So, yeah, it's all in my head. It's all coming together. Wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. Glass of Chaga. I also have it'll be in Chaga, but whatever. This little um towel, these little towel puck things. So you drop it in water for a second. Ha ah, hot. And it turns into a little rag. Now this one obviously has chaga tea all over it, but that's okay. Oh, what I'm going to do is clean my hands and my face with the hot, oh, hot rag. Ah, oh, well that was nice for a minute until it turned cold. <laughs> ah, those are pretty handy. I'll probably bring those on some canoe trips and stuff. I got a whole bunch of them. A subscriber sent me them a while ago. Okay. I'm done with this. Piping hot, piping hot. All right, well, it's almost bedtime. It's 9.48. I'm pretty chilled. 
I got all my layers on and everything. Living the life now, boys and girls. I got my cliff bar that I <laughs> warmed up over the fire. Oh, I cannot wait to eat this thing. My chaga tea. Mm. Cheers, no peasant life. Oh, it's soft and warm. Oh my goodness. Look at a baked pastry. A pastry. Oh, that was a good idea. Every now and then, old Joe gets a good one. Mmm. Oh, the white chocolate melting right on it. It's the white chocolate macadamia one. Macadamia nut one. I swore I'd never eat another Cliff Bar, but when you're hungry, you're hungry. I've eaten a million. That's that's why. Doug and I swore them off last uh, Algonquin trip. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, it's like a cookie. So, everything's good. I'm warm or not. I'm getting full. I'm getting tired. So I'm probably gonna turn in real soon. I don't think I'll make a hot water bottle for my feet tonight. I don't think I'll need it. Um, yeah, I'll get with you guys once I'm going to bed. I'm getting used to winter, I think. Alright guys, uh, it was pretty chilly getting into bed here, I filmed the whole big thing and then again uh, it wasn't recording. So this camera doesn't have a flip out screen and my monitor is not really working the greatest in the cold so I have to get a, a better monitor for it but until then I've already messed up only two, only two scenes uh, this trip at least. So getting the hang of it but anyways the gist of the thing is I have extra change of socks I took off my pants my coats down there as well uh, I'm starting to warm up but my hands are numb touching this uh, this camera and, and, and hold my flashlight touching everything so I tried to look at the that thermometer I showed earlier to see what the temperature was and it still said the same exact temperature that it said uh, midday with the full sun out and everything there's no way it's the same it's cold it's it's cold so i'm sure that temperature is broke uh thermometer is broken but anyways uh i'm gonna go to bed now i'm gonna tuck my little hands in here and try and warm them up you guys have a good night think of me while you're laying in your warm bed beds with your duvets i will uh see you guys in the morning sweet dreams good night goodbye salutations adios abiento See you soon. It's six in the morning. It's snowing quite a bit, as you can probably tell. Um, I'm glad I have my bivy. Kind of just brushes right off. It's, it's not wet snow. It's it's very cold. It's uh, just powder. My feet got pretty cold. And uh, about an hour ago, I had to grab, get my down booties from underneath um, in that sled. 
got them on, I got warmed up, but um, my hand is freezing touching that tripod right now. I'm gonna lay in bed for a little bit longer, start this fire up and get uh, get breakfast going. The bivy is good. The bivy is keeping me dry and warm. Well, my camera doesn't. Oh, <clears throat> my camera doesn't want to work properly. I can't see through the viewfinder at all. Uh, it's morning, like I said. It snowed quite a bit. It's still snowing. Oh man. I gotta get up. Look at my coat. Let me watch this. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. So cold. All right. I can't touch this camera anymore, man. It's a good thing it's so cold because the snow would be wet otherwise. It's just really just brushing right off. It's not that big of a deal. My hands are burnt from this camera. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. My microphone is broken right off my uh, camera. I can't see through my viewfinder. <laughs> uh, this cold is wreaking havoc on a lot of things, my fingers included. Okay, it's 8 o'clock. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm up now. Look at this. This fire created. Yeah, my screen's all messed up and my uh, my lens is pretty iced up too. Anyways, I'm just going to get out of here. I'm uh, I'm really cold. There's, my camera's not working properly, as you can see. Um, so... I'm gonna pack up and get out of here. I had a really fun time yesterday and last night. It was a good time being out here. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to come back. Ah, I'm just freezing cold and my camera is not good. So next time we will build more onto the shelter and keep it going. My down booties on. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really had a good time. I will see you soon. Goodbye.